Hello friends, welcome to your channel Eastex. So in our Cypress automation series, in last video what we learned that how to create our first test case and we ran it through the Cypress test runner. But in this video, we'll see that how to run our test case by using command line and we'll use the terminal. We'll not use our test runner and also we'll see that how to use or execute it on headless browser as well as our own demand browser which we can execute on cypress chrome or also the other like uh, our um, firefox so let's see that how it works and still you're not subscribed this channel so please go for it and subscribe this channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for latest notifications and also please watch with this video till end so this is what our Visual Studio Code Editor and this code is we have written in the last video. So inside this code, you know that in first video, uh, like we mentioned that um, we have some assertions uh, in Cypress, which is on like uh, we use the JS. So also here you can see that we use those assertions and also inside it, we verified the title and also inside this the, the first assertion is we used with the successfully passed and the second one we intentionally pass something uh, wrong to get that how it will fail so let's execute it again and we'll see that it works with the uh, terminal we by using the command line so first we'll see by using the test runner only so for this we need to open our terminal now we have multiple commands to use our test runner so let's see those commands so to open our test runner commands are npx cypress open so we use this command and we'll hit enter so it will open your test runner so here our test runner is opened and if you can see that it's taking some time to load and on left hand side we can see our sample spec.js which we have created inside our editor and also on right hand side we can see the uh, browser selection option so if you can click on this uh, so you can see there are few options like firefox and the electron so basically electron is cypress by default browser uh, it works uh, same as our chrome and other browser but it's a by default browser of cypress and other browser is automatically taken by from my system so if you can select like Firefox or if you can select the Chrome, so you can select it based on your requirement and you need to just click on this. So it will start execution on that particular browser with that uh, our uh, JS file. So uh, we'll close it for now and also we'll see about our second command. So our second our command is node modules bin and inside it Cypress open. So let's see that command. So here we have the node module inside the node module we have dot bin folder inside it we have the cypress and we open that cypress by using this command. So again when we click on enter so it will open our test runner. So again it opens the test runner at the same our JS file and the browser. So this is what about the uh, execution of our test cases by using the test runner. But in this video, we'll see that we don't want to open the test runner and we can directly pass our command and execute our test case on terminal only. So let me close this and we'll see the next command to run our test case on terminal. So for this, let's see our commands. So to run all the test cases through terminal, the commands are node modules bin cypress run so if you can see the difference between this second command and this command so here we have the open option and here we have the run so in open it open the test runner but if we pass the run instead of open so it will run our test case on terminal only so let me run this command so for that we need to just delete open and pass run so once you click it so what it will do it will execute your headless browser by default uh, if we um, because we haven't passed any specific browser name so it will take the uh, headless and uh, the execution will be done on our terminal only and we can't see the ui part but we can see the logs so if you can see it is start running and here the browser named is electron 
and it pass as a headless so you can see the specs each one found and the file name is our examples under the sample underscore spec dot js and inside it we have written two uh, conditions one is for the pass of assertion and second is we fail so it will execute those so let's see here it takes the first test suit which is our istex first test suit the first test suit case is passed now it going to the second test suit and here our second test case got failed because we know that we intentionally pass the wrong condition inside it to get the fail so uh, we are done with this execution and if you go and scroll down so you can see there is a result in a tabular format like our total test run pass fail and if we have any escape or pending then we'll get that count and also it takes the screenshot video it passed through that means video is also been created so video you can see inside this folder so this is a screenshot path and the it's compressing your video to take uh, like the ready to view so this is how the headless browser works through the terminal so let's see the second command now the second command is node modules bin cypress run and here the difference is we added additional conditional like uh, hyphen hyphen headed now what means hyphen hyphen headed like once you pass this headed condition so it will execute with the ui but still we haven't specify any browser name so it will execute in the uh, cypress by default browser so let's try it hyphen hyphen added run it so here if you can see that after passing this uh, hyphen hyphen headed it takes the by default browser of cypress which is electron browser but now it will open it on the ui side so if you can open this cypress so you can see the execution by your eyes only so you can see the logs you can see the execution steps or functions so it start execution on your all test cases which we have first is our first test suit and the second is with the failed test suit so it's uh, first is pass and second is failed if you can see there are some other failure cause due to this it got failed but yeah we have find our first pass test cases so this is what this command works through the uh, terminal by passing the under our uh, hyphen hyphen headed so let's see this third command to execute our test case by providing any specific browser name so the command is to run our test case on any specific browser node modules bin cypress run till run again the same command but here we provide the specific browser name so for that we provide hyphen hyphen browser and the chrome so you can provide your browser name uh, with the browser and it will execute it uh, all the test case on that particular browser which you provided by passing that name so let me pass the same uh, command to terminal Let me close it so here i provide the name browser and chrome so after providing any specific uh, browser name hit enter so it will open the browser which is chrome and execute our test case which is the upper file sample spec js so here if you can see the our test is start running and here earlier we had the different browser name which was the electron because we haven't passed any specific browser name but now we passed with the browser which is chrome now it specify here the name of browser and you can see our test is start executing with the new browser chrome so under this chrome it is start executing now you can see that it takes the browser or url and it start executing by passing the all steps so here it starts and you can see the first test is still uh, passed and second is running and yeah like as we know it will not fail because we pass the different text to uh, like get the failure here so we check and we got our two results now let's go to our editor so here also you can see the execution is still running on the backend side and you can see the logs on your terminal as well 
so it says that your one is passing and second one is failing so let's see that uh, how it uh, will give us the final result so here we go like we get our final result the same like our two test one is pass one is fail one is screenshot video and duration of execution time and our file name so again it's creating the uh, video of that particular execution now uh, we are done with our complete command for execution or for a test case like first is with our headless browser second we provide head but it execute on by default browser which is our electron and the third we pass our specific browser name so here we done with the specific browser execution now the fourth is command is to run any specific file now we provide any file name suppose uh, currently i have only one file which is our sample spec js but in future suppose i have multiple files and i want to execute only one so how i can execute that so for that we pass one command and concat with the file name so we need to provide the file path and we'll run this command so it will execute only that particular file so let's see how we can execute that so for that we have a command now to run any specific test case the command is again the node modules bin cypress run and here you can see it provides a dash dash spec which is file uh, and then under this we provide the file path like under the cypress then integration then under example we have the sample underscore spec dot js so we need to provide this relative path with spec so let's go for it so tell run the code will be same now dash dash spec and here right click on our file you need to get this relative path space under double quote just paste your path and hit enter so after that it will execute that particular file only so here it starts running by passing over this command so this command is actually execute our test case as in a headless so it get the start uh, cypress version headless browser then our file and you can see it searched the path actually and by using this path it start execution with the test case and first it start with the first test suit under this it will execute our first assertion and it got passed and also the second assertion which would fail so friends actually we are done with our all the commands and by for execution of our test case on terminal only and we haven't used any test runner to execute our test case so it will help you to run your test uh, by uh, using the headless browser by using your own demand browser but without open your test run so this is all about uh, in this video so friend in this next video we'll see that what are the folder structures of cypress and other folders uh, mean and their uh, uses so guys thank you and please subscribe this channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for latest notification if you like this video so please like share and comments thank you happy learning